Okay, bro. So, uh, I wanted to work on this lesson. I wanted to work on this pentatonic shape. Okay, add it with your chromatic uh, skull. Okay. Uh, so when you're playing, uh, let's say you're playing on the key of D. This is the key of D. Have your pentatonic shape here okay that's your pentatonic shape so you know the notes that form the pentatonic it's just the do re mi so and la okay then every other note on the pentatonic is just a repeated note okay so i want to show you how to play the pentatonic proportional way so what you could do is that you can come to this other interval this uh interval okay uh, key of D because this is a root as well. Okay, this is a root. So you have a do re mi. So you can start from here and play. Okay. likely use that in when they when they are solo in when they are improvising okay okay so playing your pentatonic that shape could make it sounds good okay adding a chromatic notes okay adding your uh, like a kind of diminished note in, in between like the mi here you have mi mori okay mi mori so the original note of the pentatonic shape is just the mi re okay mi re do la so la la okay That is on different uh, octave. That is on different octave. Okay. Now we have the first octave here. Mi re do la sol la. Yeah. You have the second octave here from the third string. Mi re do la sol la. You have the the third um, octave here. Mi re. Between that mirror do you can add your more uh, your flat tape okay which is a mi more okay la la zi so zi la okay la zi so zi la okay mi mo do mi mo re do la zi so zi la okay So if you could let that uh, up and down, up and down, you see or uh, uh, you get another uh, good fingerings, okay? Your fingerings uh, pattern will change, okay? So I believe that would help you and start uh, give you some harmonizing tune in your playing, okay? So if you can have a progression like your lap on the jazz section, you can use that to improvise, okay? Okay. So wherever you don't understand, hit me up, I'm gonna give you a reply, okay?